Everyone hear that even when they're playing um, tournaments. Sometimes people are like, oh no, actually I meant this and I meant that. And it's like, it's really annoying. Oh yeah, tournaments, it can get quite funny because it's, you know, everyone has the same rules, but then it can be funny where sometimes I, I've seen some of the really big, uh, what we call VIPs, like the really big fish from Macau, get stuck in a spot where they clearly weren't angling, didn't mean anything wrong, but yeah. they didn't put the chips in right. And yet I've seen other people that did try to pull something a little funny, so yeah, it's, it's a very hard thing to balance. Yeah. Oh wow, and so this should be a huge pot. We have Paul flopped a set of nines and Elton flopped a set of sevens. Now there are three hearts on board, which could make the pot a little bit smaller, mm -hmm. but I still expect it'll get very big. Just do and so Elton bets 40. Bigger than flash, right? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and so Paul's making a jo joke here because when we play short deck, Just do we, uh, for about the first few years it was played, everyone played the normal way that a full house mm -hmm. beats beats a flush. And just lately, about the last six months or so, everyone started playing <laughs> that a flush beats a full house because uh -huh. flushes are less common. So that's the joke Paul's making here. My cut cannot be off suit. And uh, so then he's talking a lot before rest, rest, rest. I'm guessing that he's going to raise. And yeah, he is raise. with this set. And Elton's not going to be folding. <laughs> Yeah. And a set's a very good hand, but there are three hearts on the board. Um, so 230 big lines with three people in the pot is, is a pretty big amount to, to get in the middle on a three flush board with middle set or bottom set. But I still expect that that'll end up happening a lot of time depending on what the turn is here. And that's partly because... Paul and Elton both have a history. They both play big pots against uh -huh. each other. Sometimes they try to bluff each other. Okay. I, I can't even speak English. Yeah, and on this card, it's a <laughs> offsuit three, so it's going to be very hard for Elton to fold here. I think just about whatever Paul bets, Elton's at a minimum calling and very often going to be shoving because Paul only has about 800,000 left and the pot's 326. So if Paul bets, say, 200,000, yes. If I was in Elton's spot, I'd probably call, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't be surprised if he shoves here because it's funny if you put these hands in. Oh, and Paul bet really big, so he's kind of forcing Elton to shove here. Paul bet 330,000 and uh, only has 595. Oh, is that this is what he has left? I thought the 925 was to start the hand. Okay, so this is. It I was giving some bad commentary. I'm not a very good commentator here, apparently. I talk a lot. <laughs> I haven't slept enough. And You're um, I'm, I'm the same, so the, we're the B squad. <laughs> <laughs> we're the B squad? <laughs> so there is, yes. Now, so. Okay, not so serious. Oh, and Elton calls here. So this is there's almost a million in the pot already, and Paul only has 600,000 more. Look at that. So if the river is not a heart, they're going to be getting the money in there. Oh, oh, I guess or an eight or a ten. There's actually a very good chance this freezes both of them up. That is a really big pot. And I think this was actually quite a good play by Elton. Oh wow! And this is a very surprising shove to me. Um, so Paul shoves 600,000 into a pot of a now million euros. Now we're at 1.5. This is bigger than yours. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and Paul can have a 10, much more than Elton, but it's still not that easy for him to have a 10. So Elton's only really beat by flushes uh -huh. or a set of jacks or a set of nines. But I think he might expect that a set of jacks or set of nines, Paul wouldn't bet. I'm surprised that Paul's betting them. Um, and also, if he had paired the board, would have almost definitely thought he was winning. And on this river, think, I think he's uh, not happy. Do you think Paul being so excited right now is a, a, give, a giveaway? Um, I think Paul is quite good at balancing. He's very used to playing very big sticks poker, so is Elton. And so I think they're, they're both quite good at balancing. Uh, monster now for Pogorski. Let's see what he decides to do. Can't really go wrong here. He definitely has the option to raise himself as well because of all the raising he's been doing. So kind of nice to open up that possibility for yourself. He is going to trap. If 
you guys an idea of hand strength. Jack six offsuit in this game is very comparable to seven deuce offsuit in no limit hold'em, whereas seven six offsuit is very comparable to three deuce offsuit. Definitely did not the flop you're hoping for with queens, but that's the way it goes. That's pretty much the tale of short deck. Every flop is going to be very hard to play. You either smash it, and then you still have to worry about turns and rivers. It's just such a dynamic game, which is what makes it so fun to watch. Short deck. Justin pulls out ahead, has position, and is ahead in hand strength now. Fantastic card for Bonomo. Both players have hearts. Lushes do beat both in his game. Board is not paired, so it doesn't really tie into the situation. But with the Queen of Hearts, of course, Bogorski not going to go anywhere. He's also just going to be good. Plenty of times. There's the hearts. Worski pulls out ahead. Two million in the pot. This is a big one. It's very hard to make flushes in this game. Of course, it's going to be a tad bit easier when there's four of the hearts on board. I like this lead a lot. That's 800,000. Okay. Possible to fold for Justin. Hand is just too strong. This. Three? We try that. Wow, we'll this is. Do so many days here. Looks like discussing. We, we try on TV, everybody first time. Tweaking the short deck events. Maybe pot limit pre flop. Maybe I think we should try more new things. Yeah. No, we should not going to last. Five plus, plus, five plus. Yeah, any, anything. It's okay if you try it and it doesn't work. Like, it's not a big deal. As yeah. I'm moving, calculate five plus. Is this plus should be bigger than three, four house or not? Five plus. I think no. I think four house bigger. Five plus, right? I think five. I don't think five plus is a good. You know, it's like yeah, I'm confused. You, you, people, just, you, right? too, you just make too many new. Like the game is too different. We can still try though. If people don't like it, I'll just whatever. You know? Uh oh. Yeah, you can try three plus four plus five plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything. You can try anything. <laughs> oh, oh, well, although we do like. We do like one cards per level. Spread the pot. No, I think that's kind of good actually. Every, every level we reduce one card. <laughs> or like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We reduce one card, okay. The Cal's got the, the second nuts. Nine? <laughs> Clean turn card. No, 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 no. Cap is at seven, but it just goes up, goes down. Up and down. Right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> Go, reach to max and then go back down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rui the craziest image. Or you could image. Do just like, you draw, you draw a card. Bet 35,000. Yeah, Tony. Finally so, hits the hand. You draw a card random, fine. or you draw a card and everyone has a card. No, no, no. Whoever wins the draw gets to pick. Yeah, fine. Where's one? Let's do this. How much? No, but for the whole level. Like, Hacky. how many, you yeah. know? <sighs> Paul, thinking about calling or raising. I think one cup level is fine. Play the pot. Go back and go back yeah, up. Yeah, that could be good. Yeah, that could be good. You know, you can play some normal hold on, then play some like, yeah, I don't yeah, know, yeah. two up. Play some three up. It's pretty funny. Just calls here. I like this call. Rui Cow known to blast away. Get the blanks off. And that is as blank as it gets in Rui Cow. Likely. I think the do seven. To lose it all. If poker is still around in like 20 years, 15 years, it's going to be stuff like that, randomized every hand. That's the answer. Like yeah. randomized? Yeah. So let's say you had to do seven bounty between three to 20 big blinds, randomized every Morning. hand. 
Now live, you can actually. Show me that. No, just slow him. Why you call so fast? Show me your cat. Seven eight. Ah? Seven eight. Show me that. Oh, cool. Oh, 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 for Chidwick in the big. Well, we've seen Chidwick be very frisky so far. Three betting Bryn twice. Will he go for a third with Big Al in the middle with a hand like 8-9 suited? Not this time. This time he feels like I've got a hand I want to see the flop with. So he just calls. And the flop providing gut shot straight draws to both Chidwick and Big Al. Not a good flop texture for Bryn Kenny. He decides not to continuation bet. It's just too coordinated and likely that either Big Al or Chidwick had a piece of that. Checked all the way around and now spades show up on the turn. So both Big Al and Bryn Kenny with flush draws. Bryn, of course, the nut flush draw. This might be a card he's willing to stab at. Bet on the come, as they used to say back in the day. Kenny's flush draw includes a gutter. It's also the best hand right now, little does he know. I'd expect Big Al to call and try to catch that flush. He plays unconventionally. You're never sure what Big Al is going to do. He might just say all in. Who knows? He likes to call. Nothing there for Chidwick to continue with, and a straight on the river for both. Unfortunately for Big Al, Kenny's is bigger. So all Kenny's thinking about right now is, what is the best way to maximize value? If I check, will he bet? If I bet a lot, would he call with a nine? Oh. Instantly calls the 685. Bryn Kenny picks up a nice pot here. Big Al snap called him. You can't blame him. 685. Kind of chipped up a bit. At the end of this level day, will claim all of their rebuy tickets. So Tavoris is going to call Jet of King Jack suited. Pretty solid hand. Check. Going to check on the dealer button. Three way to the flop. Good players. Everybody misses. Nobody even has a straight draw here. Check. To the aggressor go to spoils. But it's very hard because if you have a hand like King Jack here, you, you block exactly what you hope your opponents have. I mean, even if somebody has Jack 10, they have a gut shot to the nuts, there's a likelihood that somebody will come along for a bet since gut shots are so powerful. So I really cannot blame these guys for checking this through. There's a card though. So Peter Jetton has the gut shot and the nut flush draw. Mike Watson with. Uh, before your chips, Open and a straight draw and a flush draw. Imagine if a club comes. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised that... I'm trying to name the other club out there. What is it? The six of clubs? The seven and the eight of clubs remaining. Three <laughs> clubs. That would be all in worthy. 20. 20. That 20. 20,000. I mean, Watson's hand is so strong, and he has so many outs. They're really deep, so you can't, you don't really want to check raise the turn and get blasted by a possible 10-6 or Jack-10. So, playing his hand out of position and not betting the turn, he's actually put himself in a little bit of a wonky spot, because his options are pretty restricted. 
Those are raising chips. Raise I like eight. that. Trying to represent Jack-10. Yeah. I'm very happy that he didn't check all there. Jen, with this nut flush draw and inside straight draw, he's got position. I think you just got a call here. Try to hit your hand. What's your best finish here? Hmm? Zero. Zero. No cash. Just my second try. Try to event, so. You mean like here this trip? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't cashed anything. Uh, you? No. We've been in the same, uh, we've been on the same table like. All right, so he does minor. make the call. River cards a club. And the full house gets there. So that's like even worse yeah. for you. Yeah, I kind of like soft bubble. <laughs> it's so hard remember. to make flushes. Yeah, and they both made, these are both strong yeah, flushes. Six, six math, like, you gotta remember Watson check raised a turn. Oh yeah, I did best Praying best for best a club and got it. Yeah. That was an 11. Um, and then, yeah, but busted the short deck, like, a few off the money. So Watson is thinking about what bet size to make it. Probably can put Jen on making a full house a decent amount of time. Yeah. It's the type of hand I would bet call. All in. All in. Whoa. Wow, massive value that's called. actually going to get called. <laughs> Snap called. Almost apologetically turns over his hands. What an insane pot. Yeah. Wow. There was like, only 200,000 in there. Double over bet ship. Snapped off. 